team still ain't won any playoff games. Where's my damn homie? Yo, everybody, how you doing? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? I feel like Mr. Rogers of YouTube. Anyways, what side of the aisle are you on? Whose side? Jordan Matthews or Nelson Aguilar? Which one? It seems that everybody has already picked a side. Me, I understand both sides of the argument and I have multiple thoughts about it. But I have one clear objective for this team and what they should do. So let me explain. I would choose Jordan Matthews right now if you put a gun in my head over Aguilar. And the reason I would do it is because I don't trust Nelson Aguilar. I don't trust Nelson Aguilar because he's never done anything during the regular season to show me I should. Now Matthews, I like Matthews as a slot receiver, but I think he's limited and I think he'll always be just a good receiver. I don't think he's a pro bowler. I don't think he has a high ceiling. He's also, in my opinion, not a good fit for this offense. We remember this offense with Andy Reid. Andy Reid likes fast, explosive players. That's why, that's not Jordan Matthews. And then when you take Jordan Matthews and you put him with Alshon, who is not explosive himself in terms of speed, you have a very slow offense. And then we have Torrey Smith, let's not forget, who has speed, but we don't know what he has left yet. Despite everybody assuming he's going to be fine, I need to see it. You know, Alshon, he has ability to go up. He can fight off double teams. He's big. He's physical. He can be a deep threat in his own way, but he's not going to outrun somebody. He's not going to catch a slant and then go 85 yards. Aguilar has that ability. Matthews does not. Matthews is slow and has hands of cement. So I understand the need and the desire to want to replace Matthews. But Aguilar hasn't showed me anything. Yes, he's had better OTAs. But I expect that from him. I expect him to have better OTAs. Because he's more explosive and he's more athletic. So of course when he's playing and he's running routes without pads on, he's going to look better. It's just going to happen. But the Eagles want Aguilar in a slot. And I'm telling you this. I'm going to tell you this. This is coming from the team. This narrative of Matthews and, and Aguilar and Aguilar and a slot, this is being pushed on from the Eagles. And you know, you know how you know this? Because every beat writer who works for different papers and internet and blogs, they all are writing the same story. And they're all writing the same story because it's coming from the Eagles. That's just how it works today. A lot of these writers, they write nice things because they know if they don't, the Eagles will take the press pass. So that's what happens. But whatever, maybe the Eagles do believe that Aguilar is a perfect fit and is going to have a great year. Maybe. But I need to see it because when he gets on the field, he drops a couple balls. And he's looking around like this. Right? When he drops a couple balls, is he going to be able to get over it? Is he going to be able to push it aside? So far in his career, we know when he makes one mistake, many follow because he can't get over it. So we'll have to see. I don't trust him in that position. But the realities of football, the realities of the NFL, the realities of the salary cap tell us that Jordan Matthews is bye-bye at the end of this year. He's going to be gone. And anybody that thinks that they're going to sign Alshon and Jordan Matthews, I have bad news for you, it ain't going to happen. Matthews is not going to be back if Jeffrey is. And if he is, it's because he had a really, really bad year or Jeffrey had a really bad year and they had a sign for pennies on the dollar. So it's not a good thing. So with that said, though I don't trust Aguilar in the slot, though I don't want to count on him, I have to start shopping Jordan Matthews around. I have to start trying to package him in a deal for you know with a fourth round pick or whatever other player and I have to try to get myself a starting corner because I would rather take a chance on Aguilar 
then take a chance on the starting corners that we have right now. So to me, Matthews ain't coming back. You got to shop him. You got to get something for him and trade him because he's on his way out. And you can tell by the team that Aguilar is probably going to get more opportunities as the season goes, even if Matthews is there. It's just the way it's going to be. And look, if Aguilar, if Aguilar can live up to his physical ability, he's way better for this offense than Matthews. We need explosion. We need speed. So, yes, it's time to shop Jordan Matthews. Uh, it's just the way it is. I like Jordan Matthews personally. I think he's good. I trust him more than I trust Aguilar. I don't view Aguilar as better. But I think Aguilar is a better fit. And I think Matthews is on his way out no matter what. So, trade Matthews. Try to get a corner. I'm serious. I would start calling people and say, I got Jordan Matthews. Two fourth round picks, a fourth round pick, a third round pick, and see what kind of corner you can get. I'm sure we can get something, but something has to be done. So, yes, today, right now, if I had to choose who's better and who I would put on the field to start today in a game, I would choose Jordan Matthews. But if I'm choosing what's going to really probably happen and being practical, I have to choose trading Matthews and starting Aguilar. So, I think both sides are right and make good points. But the reality of the situation is Aguilar is a better fit, Aguilar is faster, and more importantly, Matthews is going to be gone at the end of the year, and we really need cornerbacks more than anything else, so let's go out and get a cornerback and use Matthews as trade bait. Take care, talk to you later, and don't be a dingbat.